Eee, I gotta figure out my way out of here. I guess I'm going that way. Huh. Oh. Hope no cars decide to come through here because they are coming through fast. We're here at, uh, 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 like I say, here they come. I think these are workers who work here. We're here at the, the stadium, you know. There's a certain sports team that's playing. All right, now we gotta get out of here fast before another car comes racing up this one-way road. These are all the tailgaters. All right, swing on over. Oh, look. I don't know what you call those. A video game truck. <laughs> anyway. All right, on with the rest of the day. Tomorrow is the Mrs. Birthday, and uh, I asked some of the people I work with if they have any ideas of where to shop, and uh, Claire had a great idea. We did a story on this place, so I'm heading there. It's here in the plaza. I, I forget the name, but it's locally owned, locally crafted. The prices aren't too bad, and... I think they might have a, some earrings, and I usually don't buy things like that, but I think they have some earrings that uh, she might like. And as always, that's sort of my criteria is, is to try, if you can, find something that's locally, locally grown, locally made, and uh, you know, support the local economy. And you get much better, um, how would you say, better uh, feeling from it, but also better, usually quality. You know, it's like, I don't know, good karma all the way around. I know there's some people that don't really believe in karma, but I do. Karma is like the, I don't know, well, I don't need to go there, but anyway, it just blocks away from where I work. And then I might try and see if I can get her a uh, gift card for a uh, a spa. She could use a spa. And there's, I think there's one up north that'll work. Hopefully it won't cost too much. Here in the plaza, yes, I'm on the plaza. Willingly, all you would say is uh, shopping for my wife, who actually kind of likes to come down here. The plaza. And actually, this is a better angle on the plaza. Here's our store. Got the boot. And I've been told a gift card for here would be nice hopefully i won't get too bad a sticker shock well let me tell you i guess it's not too bad place seems very relaxing and soothing in there so uh maybe she'll really like it and 
then maybe she might add to the bill, take advantage of the other services. But, uh, like, you know, what, scrubs and pedicures and manicures and yada yada. Although, we had a pedi pedicure and she had a manicure not too long ago. But, um, anything to get her to chillax and escape from the the problems the uh the stress stress inducing problems so now i thought what am i gonna do about a cake and i always think that there's such a thing as a healthy cake or whatever and i'm like well, that's kind of tricky to find, but if you can't do healthy, then what she really likes would be a, one of these pies from, uh, um, oh, Corner, Corner Cafe, and, uh, so, I've been hankering for a little bit of lunch, brunch, whatever. I haven't really eaten anything today. I had some chips. Man, this uh, this shot that I take, I think is really working because I can go the whole day and not eat and it's, if I put food out of my mind be like, not eat I don't need to eat. Need to eat, need to eat. So maybe if I could start an exercise program Like walking the dogs and stuff like that. I could really start losing this Buddha of mine. The unhealthy Buddha. We're leaving Briar Cliffy. Yep. Yeah, I need this. This is a, a tricky uh, set of roundabouts. They're tricky because there's like so many different entrances to them. We're leaving Briar Cliffy and heading over here to, uh, uh, what's this called? Riverside. There's Riverside City Limit, population 4013. And right along here somewhere, I think where these, uh, these signs are up here, is where Pendergast, well, I don't know. I don't know if it was here. Maybe. Pendergast had his, uh, um, a motel they like to come to. And there was a racetrack over here where they did a lot of betting, on, I think, on horses. <laughs> Which was illegal. And then eventually it turned into, I think, a, a car, like a dirt track or whatever. And then I don't think it's any anywhere. It's no longer here. But, uh, there was a motel that he used to like to come to and bring his guests. Maybe this was it right here. And more or less for wheeling and dealing and corruption and nefarious things and probably hookers and the works, you know? But, uh, I don't know. Riverside was not incorporated until the 1950s, I discovered, because the guy who started Red X was the guy who moved for incorporating because Kansas City wanted to annex all this, and they were thinking about whether they wanted to be annexed or not, and then they, they looked at taxes and everything, and I think they decided to be better off if they just became their own city. That's why Riverside doesn't really have a, a downtown area, per se. It was more like a strip road town. I don't mean like strip, like stripping. I mean like strip road, like uh, U.S. highway type. But yeah, there's a U.S. 69 comes through here. Well, anyway, here we are. The corner. Let's park. Rach. Yeah. Corner Cafe. Mm. 
The corner. It's been a long time since so I've seen this. I got the cornbread. It is perfect. Exactly what I was wanting. Here's the place. We are very satisfied again. Got the loot. It's that time of year again. The kids have been busy today. Decorating for fall and Halloween. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Spider web, ooh, scary. Oh, the spider's going up here. It's gonna be crawling out of its head. I'm gonna use its back legs to keep it. Got it. Don't make it too scary. We won't have any trick or treaters. Go, have go ahead and make it really scary. No, and somebody's not to eat all the candy. I'm not going to eat any of So was that you, Brad? No. Actually, it was Aunt Suyen. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I'm okay. I mean, I thought she bought it for Halloween, but oh, she you didn't found spider? It. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah. Because you're not a part of this. Yes, you did. You didn't do anything. That's I know Saya's coming for Halloween. Starts with a W and ends with the itch. Mm. I don't think you. Scarlet. I don't think right you now, you're I, being an evil sister. Right now, what I wish I could call her. Starts no, with no, a you will not. You will not. Hey, you called me your multiple times. I'm glad I'm documenting all you this. Hit me in the eye. And you tried snapping my neck. What? Yes. Wow. You tried killing me, actually. Wow. Mm. I'm confused. I'm going in on that note. Hey! <laughs> my pumpkin hair clip. This is the no, it's... Hi, Jimothy. Able to head out there first pitch in 608, first game in Kaufman since September 22nd. That first postseason game since 2015. We know we're doing uh, bump back shots. Um, the reporter I was assigned to is uh, called in today. And uh, it's a very pretty morning. Of course, you know, we're talking about all our sports teams doing well. They both played the same time yesterday and they both won. The baseball and the football team. So the train station is lit up in the colors of both teams. Blue and red. So hence the desire to have bump back, bump back shots of it. I opted to not set an external camera out because I've had experiences unfortunately in, in this lot where um, people with not good intentions show up and and uh, try and mess with you and if I have an expensive piece of equipment sitting outside, it leaves me vulnerable. So I figured out how to make this camera, this the iPhone, which is what this is, um, send out a signal at the right uh, 
frequency and a good resolution that can be used without any problem. And it leaves me less vulnerable in these parking lots at the pre-dawn hours. And uh, also the uh, construction workers for the streetcar are uh, taking up all the parking and uh, the security at this station has gone around and asked people where, what they're doing here and wanting to charge us for parking. And when I told him I was with Channel 41, he was like, oh, you're golden, don't worry about it. We're just having some construction workers who are taking up all the parking and not leaving any parking for uh, the people who are using the station. And uh, also, um, The sprinklers were going off and spraying me and I had to move because of that and because of the construction workers who were all parking around me and one guy was like kept walking in front of the car and he was like not in a hurry as he walked he just kind of was loping in front of the car even stopping and hanging out so I had to move because of him but Mostly because the sprinklers and I couldn't have the windshield wipers going while we we're doing our live hit. So, I have a shoot at 9 and so I'm going to go take advantage of the time I have now while I have it. Go have some coffee close by. And wait for, listen to the scanner and wait for a call. They want to send me somewhere else. And yesterday, um, I didn't have much time to enjoy any coffee at uh, uh, Cafe Cafe because uh, I did get called, which is fine. And, and I had to go do two shoots yesterday. I actually shoot two VOs, which is great rather be useful than not not paid to uh, go drink coffee <laughs> but when I get the chance I take my breaks and, and do that because it, it helps me to wake up and all that good stuff Old Westport. 527, service and quarters. 527, service and quarters. Let's get some coffee. So we wait for, oh, here we go. Oh, didn't have to wait long. 527, item 24. Coffee. Coffee. Here's a, a loop that I got from the weather service. It's showing 
Hurricane Milton. Milton, what a name. And it's uh, threatening Florida pretty bad. It's a Category 5 right now. Here it is, Category 5, 165 miles an hour winds. Um, earlier, <coughs> had 173 mile an hour winds. Well, it's not showing that very well, but it had actually 175 mile an hour winds. Gusts up to 200. <coughs> Fortunately, it's expected to weaken, but it's coming in in a bad spot. Coming in around Tampa, although it's improved that the worst part of the storm will not come in over the bay. Here's some of the cameras there showing what's going on. And uh, the bad thing is it's going to go across Florida and still be a hurricane when it comes out on the other side. And we're worried because my parents are in Vero Beach. And here's where it'll come out. Hopefully it won't be that bad. But there's a lot of evacuations going on and everything. So we'll see what develops tomorrow. So let's take a look at our hurricane this morning. Up until a few minutes ago, it was a Category 5. And now it's been downgraded to Category 4, which doesn't make a huge amount of difference. The worrisome thing is, now they're saying it's going to be a Category 4 coming on, on land. It'll weaken till that point let's see what it's its exit point is It'd be a category one when it gets to the other side of Florida so still maintaining its strength we are yet again live at Union Station this morning talking about what else a certain baseball sports team is doing well in their sporting match. I guess they uh, they won their last contest, and uh, they're continuing to move on. So. So we're, we're live here. I am not wanting coffee. I already had coffee. They have Mexican coats in here, and we've got a strange desire to have one. Plus, meeting Suyen and Luke over at Vietnam Cafe. Mm. Mexican coats. Just check on the progress of our hurricane. Still a category four. Or if that means it's wobbled north. No, oh, it's on the track. I don't know what that is. It'll be 
category four according to this when it comes in and you can look at the beaches here it's getting pretty choppy looking Uh, if we check this again, we'll come in 1 a.m. and still coming out the same place, the same strength. So that's the update. Yeah, that uh, Mexican Coke didn't agree with me, apparently. Here we are, Vietnam. Spring rolls. Tornado warnings in and around Vero Beach. This is very concerning. With reports of tornadoes. So it's down to a category three, which was expected, and it's kind of wobbling to the north, it looks like. It looks like it's trying to head right for the bay here which is bad. Look at some of the cameras. Definitely getting very choppy. Here's one that's all the way in the bay. There's even debris in this one from the last hurricane. And here's the surge coming in, and you can see it. And what's been worrisome are all these tornadoes on the east side. We had to put my mom and dad's position in so we could see. them in relation to the rotation got new tornado warning with debris ball west of fort pierce heading straight at my parents house of course and we're trying to call them, but there's phones are crappy, no answer. So, so it looks like it's about ready to come on shore. It's booking, and the surge is coming in. This one here is really dramatic. And uh, tornado came really close to mom and dad's house. There's damage everywhere, but we called them and they're fine. They took shelter in a closet.
And there it is. Hurricane Milton is finally coming on shore. It looks like around about Sarasota. There's the calm in the eye and the roaring at the outer edge. And the north side, rain coming at different angle. It looks like it'll go across Florida overnight, come out around Cape Canaveral. And it looks like mom and dad, hopefully, will be out of the worst of it. Milton is exiting Florida after a very active night. And um, yesterday we were badly affected as a tornado, one of the worst ones produced by the storm, almost hit my parents' house. They called us back and told us they were fine. They had to evacuate to the closet, but they have no damage. And we're finding out, and I haven't gotten the details yet this morning, that maybe there were some people killed in that tornado. And it was about, I think, a mile or less from my parents' house. But the uh, it's barely a hurricane now, and it's leaving Florida. And I don't think it's doing much around my parents' house, so that's good news. There was a bad shooting here in Westport. Five people were hurt. I think three of them critically. I'm not sure if this glass here on the street is part of it, but I suspect it is. It originated, I guess, over across the street here. And uh, apparently, they were targeting something over here. As you can see by the bullet holes. And the police evidence markers just went up here. But most impressively are, so these bullet holes in the glass have gone all the way through, damaged. Here's a piece in the frame in the glass. It damaged the uh, the shelving beyond, probably maybe even some of the merchandise. And so far, we found about what seven of them here. Yeah, not a great thing. Some people just should not have guns at all.
Classified. Here at Crown Center looking for a Children's Mercy toy delivery event. You can't see from the awning in the sun, but we're here in the valet parking and I'm not finding it. We'll find it, I guess, hopefully. Crown Center is a huge complex. You got the Town Center Shops, which is a shopping mall here, and across the street you have uh, oh, I forget what they call this little park, but it's surrounded by Crown Center office complexes and restaurants and what is it, Sea Life. An indoor aquarium and it's just an immense complex so if you say meet me at Crown Center you might want to be more specific what part of Crown Center because you can walk a long way and never find what you're looking for not to mention that you have the, the hotel here which is part of Crown Center that says it on the name this is uh, the hotel which is the address I was actually given the entire complex actually runs from Union Station here through this uh, this link into the hotel and it goes all the way around and you see part of the link there and to the east to that building with the round thing on the top is also owned by Crown Center that's the old Hyatt now it's called the Sheridan so yeah let's do a little synopsis here of what we're looking at all of this and then several blocks to the south beyond nineteen seventies brutalism architecture 
very classic brutalism. Yeah, the building that, or the, this whole complex is built into what was once called Signboard Hill, and they built this building into the hillside and uh, put a nice little feature inside. This is actually inside Town Center. And you see the, the futuristic aspects of brutalism, which has made brutalism still very popular in science fiction set locations for Hollywood. Oh, now I am here. I have walked all over the place <laughs> and probably still haven't covered 10% of it. But I think I've narrowed it down to where I'm supposed to be, but I doubt if it's here anymore. So I'm going to move my car over this way. I am still lost. And this is not the first time I've gotten lost in Crown Center. Last time that I can remember was when uh, I was doing uh, the anniversary celebration for the Pardos. And then I was looking for the new restaurant or new American restaurant in relation to the, uh, the parking which I don't think I ever really sorted that out either. I ended up walking a long ways laden with a wagon full of equipment. And uh, I thought maybe these trucks up here might be it, but uh, one is like a flooring contractor and the other one, I don't know what it is, like a rental truck. So I'm just... Uh, I just typed in the address as given on the the thing which maybe that was my wrong assumption in the first place was because it said Crown Center and then I went to Crown Center and so forget Crown Center and just go to the address and it's pointing me I believe well not to this parking lot all right 2420 and it says children's mercy on it no unauthorized parking well I got my placard up so hopefully I'm authorized there's 15 minute parking so let's park over here volunteer services and in-kind giving I think I'm I'm think of getting it closer as a friend of mine would say one thing's for sure we got it surrounded. All right, and I'm seeing an arrow and a sign over here, so maybe this is it. All right. Here we, here we go, we hope. I guess this is it. I don't know. The back part of it at least. Nope. Here we are, I think, finally. In the GPS. What's going on here? Not too intuitive here. It's kind of a hard place to find at night. Things are not lit up and the entrance is actually behind the entrance to the park. I don't know how to describe it. There's the amusement park over there. And here's our spot, lot number one. Get out of the headlights. You found the sewer where the sewer thing goes in? Yeah. 
See how straight am I? Yeah, that'll work. And that's our rear view. trucks that are around here. Expensive hotels? They're all expensive. I think they've pretty much put all the motels out of out of business. The mom and pops are gone. So here we are, our first dinner. Awful house. Could I have come in? No, I can't come in through there. Well, at least the parking lot is open. They're not making it to where you can't go through the parking lot. I'll try and park it over here. So the, these windows can be open and unless somebody walks past this way, they won't bother the pups. Awful house. We didn't bring our grill or chairs. So I guess I'm running an errand tomorrow. Got it. Be very careful, it is hot. Mm. Here's some cartridge for you as well. Can Yummy. we have this <laughs> bacon? <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh, a small table. May we have basketball? Basketball, yeah. The vittles are in. Nancy and has pork chops, <laughs> as do I. What do you want to do? Zach has an spoon? anus burger. Yeah. Oh, Luke's. Yeah. Zach, can yeah, I get some spoon? On Texas no, no, toast. No, you have to get spoon. And Luke and Cy are going to be unbearable in the RV tonight because they're yeah. having chili. Could you get him a spoon, please? And of course, we have waffles. There's no waffling here. They like it. We are satisfied. Mm. Mm. Everybody's settling in. The Jimmy is uh, taking up too much bed. And there's Spella hiding, as always, in her comfy spot. Poor old Zach. He's going to sleep on the floor. And then the other two are. Up in the bunk, the bunk, the bunk, to the bunk. Yep. Someone didn't feel like cooking this morning, so we came to the closest McDonald's, which is here in the truck stop. And they got this nice little doggy park here. Right, doggies? Woof, woof, woof. Ah! Whereas uh, the uh, RV park doesn't even have one. This is our RV in the lot, but look at the, the skyline behind it. That's how close we are to Kansas City, really. So even if you're not going to Worlds of Fun, this is a good place to come if you're trying to visit the city. Here's kind of a wide shot in relation to everything else. We're standing here at the the headquarters place to ask questions about how to get into Worlds of Fun. We've got the awning out and this is our camp. There's Zach over there with Jimmy. And I'm getting ready to go shake a tower. The plan for today is I am uh, staying with the dogs and the fam is going inside. This is a, uh, what do you call it? Team building exercise for the missus. So her ticket is paid for by her work, but she has to go. She has to attend. And she's bringing the kids along just for fun. And now they may have another ticket available. So one of the kids will go in 
and uh, somebody has to stay with the dongs, and I volunteered because I'm not, I'm not really into amusement parks and rides as so much. I'd rather have quality time with the pups. And yes, I'm still wearing the same clothes. I changed my mind about the shower. Nothing wrong with the shower except that uh, somebody for a joke decided to leave a, a turd behind in one of the showers and it was kind of stinky and I was getting ready to go home anyway to uh, get some of the things that we missed. You know, the uh, I can never figure out how to get out of here. The uh, lawn chairs and I think that's about it. But since I'm going there, I might as well take a shower there anyway. I thought about taking one in the in the RV testing out our new hot water heater, but yeah, and uh, probably go do some things with the donkeys. We need to get a replacement door thing to keep the bugs out of our RV. That little slider thing thingy. Um, ours is all busted up and has gotten worse, so it's not even working anymore. So that's it. That's the plan. And uh, yeah, about the the poop in the shower, I'm not placing the blame on the RV park. It's probably somebody's brilliant child thought they would be playing a funny joke and haha, -ha, very funny. You know, parents. I got to tell you this. Your kids are not as cute and charming as you think they are. Actually, you should probably be watching them a little closer because they're more of a burden on society than, than you probably would like to admit. <laughs> Either that or some adult has a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we probably sound awful because we're pretty strict on our kids, but... We do get comments on how polite our kids are and everything, and that's a re that's rewarding. And and hopefully, you know, the the strictness that we put on our kids, because you know we we feel we have to, because of the the poor start they've had, um, will pay off in the end when they um, when they are uh, well become well behaved and reasonably happy young people and adults but there's no saying what will happen I mean we keep a close eye on our kids when they uh, when they do shenanigans we get we get after them we let them know and uh, I'm sure most parents are the same way but, you know, sometimes when you take your eyes off kids, they, they think things that are funny that are really not very brilliant at all. We've made it to Miriam Lane. I was thinking I was going to go to Camping World to look for the screen, what they call it, a screen door slider. Ours is completely demolished. I love this camper up here. But... <clears throat> The one I was going to go to, I don't think they carry hardly anything. And um, I thought, why am I forgetting about the local guys here at KC Home Trailer? Now I'm going to turn around so I can face out. That. So I called them up and they said they have three different types. So I think they're cheap enough I might buy the three different types and try them and hopefully one of them will work and then bring the other two back because we're coming back here on Monday to have the camper winterize so we'll do that so here they are they're like $14 a piece so I got both of them there's like two different types the E series and the P series and she said just buy both of them and bring the one that doesn't work back. So that's what I'm going to do. So nice. Let the doggies do their sniff-ums. Maybe take care of business.
and I've been wanting some good coffee. Ah, that's the stuff. This is our glorious sunset from Worlds of Fun Village and our camp. The donkeys have been fed. I've got my time lapse set up. Hope I have it set right this time. And of course, Spella will finish her food. That's the way she is, right, Spella? And Timothy there has been given his shot, right, Jim? Did you notice it? You didn't wince this time. There is the downtown skyline. And this is a view from our camp to the south. I took the Navion in there the last time in 2021. And here's our view of Worlds of Fun. Up and up and over they go. And Nine. <laughs> that is going to follow him for the rest of his life. Oh, I guess some bad punching will be following the rest of your cheeks. What? Mothers had to back Chicken is what's for dinner. Right there. There's some spoons in here. Well, the way you sunrise coming up this morning clear blue skies and the temperatures are perfect this was overall a nice experience pretty relaxing Picture, picture. The world's a fun entrance. Picture, picture. Everything is wonderfully backlit this morning.
Away we go. If somebody will. Speak mine. <laughs> you tried to. Look at the look on Luke's face. <laughs> He's like. He's like, what? What? What are you doing? What is all those marks on that? Looks like it's cups. dust. No, I'm trying to figure out like what happened, like why. What is that face? Mm -hmm. It's a face that I'm gonna faint in this car. Yeah, he's probably gonna faint in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Except it won't be on accident. Uh, so Aunt Sian will go over a bump and Luke will go. <laughs> Can we get past this thing? She just went over about I wonder if he's sleeping yet. Hmm. Yep, yeah, the back story is Luke fainted on, on what? The Mamba, that on the big Mamba? Roller coaster the big right roller coaster. Oh. The, the one right He there. didn't faint on the Patriot? No, I don't know. How, well, actually, I'm not 100% sure at this point. Or did he faint on other I rides? I heard him screaming on the Patriot. So. <laughs> Eat mine. And then he said, Oh, my Lord, oh, great heavens. That's literally what he said. I said that on the secret. Yeah, you were copying. Alright, well, we oh are... Oh my lord! Out of here. We were not secret. It was fun. Yes, it was. <coughs> if we had Wait, what did you even do yesterday? I, I tried to run an errand. Oh, and that didn't pan out because those things don't fit, so I have to return them both. And maybe bring the uh, maybe bring the other one back and and see if they have one like that. I wonder if we can like find like what size is the old one. I don't know. Well, if you bring the old one. Oh, so we're still working on that bug screen thing, but the Navion is running good after taking it to a guy who knows how to fix them. Finally. Doggies, guard the car, or should I say, guard the house. Woof woof. We're going to save us. Mmm, Indian. Seva, which I believe is the proper pronunciation. Mmm, Indian. I would really go around the table, but everybody's got the same thing because it's lunch buffet. Mmm. We are satisfied. Nada, we are docked. The kiddos are playing in the neighborhood, and all those cones happened some weeks back where some friends of the next door neighbor's teen daughter decided to play a joke. Or maybe they weren't friends, I don't know. But they decided to play a joke, put all these cones on her car. And the donkeys and I are chillaxing in the yard.